Hello and welcome back to our CAD Clip Lessons on Revit Architecture 2008. Uh, just closing off our lessons on detailing and keynotes. And um, the um, last lesson we left off was uh, keynoting by sheet, etc. Now we're going to talk about uh, schedules. Now, just uh, as a recap from our last lesson, we can go up here and say settings, keynotes, by sheet. And of course, all of our keynotes will turn into sheet type keynotes coordinated accordingly and then if we go back to here we can say by keynote okay and then that will update as well okay and then we can change them to by number or by text that all still stands now we talk about scheduling what we do is we create a schedule and the schedule is smart enough to understand whether we are keynoting by uh, by the sheet or just by the um, regular um, keynote numbering system okay um, and so we'll create a new schedule so I'm just gonna go to my view tabs and I'm gonna say um, schedule down here or I can say view new schedule or quantity doesn't matter and then inside of there I'm going to go down and say okay well I want to create a, um, a keynote schedule and I can't seem to find that here and I think the thing is I need the uh, specific keynote legend tool it's not going to show up under here um, if I go view new here it is over here keynote legend and un it should be under view but it's too far buried down here we can't see it so I'll just go straight to keynote legend here off of view new okay and inside of there I can just give it a name and hit OK creates a new legend and it provides me with these two fields which is all that I have click OK and there's my keynote legend and it's numbering them by the keynote or sorting by the keynote number now I can take that legend and place it on a sheet so I can go down here to my sheet over here that has my two plans on it oh looks like I've already got one on there and to delete um, and I can take that keynote legend oh I've, I've got two I've got the original and then this one and I can drag that keynote legend and place that and then I can take that grip and stretch it over okay so it's providing those keynotes and of course it's tying all that in back to the original you know sections etc if I go in and delete an item or something this is all gonna update and follow through right through to the schedule so the other thing is is now if I go to settings keynotes I'm set back to be by note but watch what happens if I change this to be by sheet and hit OK okay and then go back and have a look at that legend okay it's now numbering them by sheet and if I go to my actual sheet there it is updating accordingly and and numbering it by the number so this is all happening like magic in the background from Revit so we can have our schedule here and everything is tagged by keynote and the beautiful thing is if I switch between at this point um, tagging by sheet to regular keynote my schedule is going to update if I go back to you know doing this and hit OK it's going to update again and then way back at a user level someone can go down here and pick on this object or pick on here and re-tag something okay in this item maybe throw another tag in here uh, drafting keynote by element you know and then maybe pick on a window or something like that it's going to put a number 18 and hit escape in there if I go all the way back to my sheets okay now my number 18 is right there aluminum window and it just added them in at the end so there's a little bit of legwork in the beginning to make all of these keynotes work and what it is is that you know this window has to know certain information we can go in and pick the properties and hit edit it has a keynote here okay and then depending on if it's a window or a chair or a wall or a roof or a floor system you might be able to pick an edit button and go in and actually access keynotes for the individual materials so there is some legwork in assigning pre-assigning so that you can go in and tag 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 this door has to know its keynote and this stair and the railing and the and all the components of these objects but once you get these set up in your different um, families and your different in your template file inside of here and tied into your 
um, keynote file over here okay then it's a matter of just going through and tagging them all and then letting the tags and the schedules uh, manage that for you so there's again a little bit of legwork to get the keynote file updated make your changes to that keynote file as we saw in our first lesson of editing it uh, or second lesson or so in the source file and then linking all of our components to that um, keynote source file and after that the rest is just kind of fun